Okay, so in this introduction to interactive PDFs, I'm gonna to go to File and Open and we'll start off our project here. In uh, Chapter 11, I'll go to Folder 1, GI Joe Complete, and we wanna open up the demo file. Okay, so what you're gonna do is we want to create a series of buttons that go to the previous page or the next page. But I want them in the lower right corner, but I'm not sure where they should go because I don't want to stick them way over here on the right because there's going to be page numbers. So I'm going to design my buttons to the widest page numbers, like down here, a double digit number. Okay, I'm going to go to my layers and I have a layer called page buttons. So I want to make sure they're at the top so they're not buried underneath anything. I'm going to click outside and hit D for default colors and then I want to create two buttons right here. So the way you do that is you go to window menu, interactive, buttons and forms. Okay and in the pop-up on buttons and forms you have sample buttons that come with Adobe InDesign. Okay, so we'll keep this panel open and I'm going to scroll down the list of buttons here to get down to the arrow buttons. <clears throat> and I like these two, 147 and 148. They're just simple, bold buttons here. So I'm going to drag 148, just click and drag it right onto the page right there. And I'll drag 147 out onto the page right there okay we can close these sample buttons we don't need those right now but these buttons are way too small so I'm gonna click shift click and now if I hold shift and option I can drag and make these bigger kinda like that I'll click outside and we'll just move this button with my arrow keys just kinda move it over a little bit move these two buttons kind of close together right there okay so now I got my buttons here what I want to do is put them on a master page because I need them to show up on every single page so at least I know where they're gonna go so I'm gonna click shift click and go to edit cut now I come up to my A master page. Double click, even though there's nothing here, that's fine. I'm gonna go on my layer, page buttons, and say edit, paste in place. <clears throat> I want them to fall right where they were on that page 10. Okay, now I get to design these buttons. So I'm gonna click right here. This is to go to a previous page. So if I was on page five, and I click, this would go to page four. If I was on page five and I clicked, this would go to page six. So let's click on the one on the left. And what I want is a little more definition to these buttons, okay? When I click, there is a normal mode. When people are looking at a normal page, they're gonna see this. But I want my button to have a stroke on it. So I'm gonna click right there on the stroke and let's go to window, color, and swatches. And let's put a black stroke on that. Right up here is the stroke weight. So I'm gonna hit the up arrow, make that two, just so it's a little more easily definable. I'm gonna do the same thing before I forget. Do the same thing on this one. Click on the stroke, make it black, set the stroke weight up to two. So that's what my buttons are gonna look like on a normal view of the every single page. Okay, now I click on this one and it says what's gonna happen when somebody rolls their mouse over. So I'm gonna click on roll over and it looks like it took the black off and added a little glow effect on there, which is, I don't know, I'm not a real fan of that. So what I'm gonna do is click on the stroke, add a black stroke, We'll make that two again. 
but when somebody rolls their mouse over it, I want it to change color. So now I'm going to click on the fill and make it yellow. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same thing on this button. When somebody normally views the page, it's going to be a green button. When they roll their mouse over it, it's not going to turn green. It's going to turn yellow. Also, when they roll their mouse, there's going to be a stroke there. So I click on the stroke, make it black, and I will make the size of the stroke too. Okay. What I would also suggest is when you're done working on a button, go back to normal mode because that's usually what you're going to be working in, normal view. So I'll click these and set them back to normal. Okay, the next thing is how do these buttons actually work? I have to make sure that when somebody rolls over it, it's going to actually do what I want it to do. So I'm going to click here and you'll notice it says event. When is this button going to work? I don't want it to work when somebody releases their mouse. I only want the button to work when somebody actually clicks on it. So they have automatically put in an action here. When somebody releases their mouse, it's going to go to a previous page. I don't want it when somebody releases their mouse. I don't want it to do anything until somebody clicks on it. So I've got this previous button. The action, I'm going to delete that. Click the little minus. Yes, delete it. Okay. I only want this button to work. The event is when somebody clicks on the button. Well, right now it's set up. So when somebody clicks, nothing's going to happen. So I'm going to add an action. When somebody clicks on the button, it's going to go to the previous page. That's it. I'll do the same thing here. I don't want these buttons by default to work when somebody releases their mouse. So I'm going to delete that action. I only want this button to work when somebody clicks on it. The event is a click. The action, what's it going to do when somebody clicks? It's going to go to the next page. Okay, and that's it. So now I've designed them, but I don't even know if these work. Okay, so let's close the buttons and forms for a second. I'm going to come back to my pages panel and I'm going to double click on page one. Well, great. I can't even click on these. They're a master page item, so I can't test them. So here's how you test them. Okay, because since I put them on a master page, they are on every single page in this document right down to the end. But you have two problems. If you're on the very first page, there is no previous page. And if you're on the very last page, there is no next page either. Okay, so these are master page items. I can't click on them. But in order to break the link, I hold Command and Shift key, and now I click. Now I could break the link and delete that because there is no next page. I can scroll all the way up to page one. There is no previous page, so I hold Command and Shift. Click to break the link to that master page item and delete it. All right, but still, I'm not going to be able to use these. I got to test out my buttons before I go to the next step. So how can I make sure these actually are going to work? Okay, what you do is go to Window, Interactive, and you have a preview here. Let's see where it is. Do, 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 do. Animation, buttons, interactivity, page transitions. Okay, where did my Swift preview panel go to? Uh, let's see. You know what? I don't even know where that went. <laughs> uh, let's see. Swift previews my preview panel no it's got to be under interactive e-publication okay 
There we go. EPUB. I guess they renamed it. Window menu, interactive, interactivity preview. And I'm going to pull the bottom right corner out. Make it big so I can see my graphics here. And what I have to do, it's not showing me anything. So what I'm going to do first is click the bottom right corner. I want to preview every page in this document, not just one page. So we'll click that. Then I got to load all that information into view by clicking this playback button. You got to wait a few seconds. It's going to load all the page information into this panel. So let's see what we get here as it loads the information. Hopefully soon. <laughs> okay. There we go. My goodness. All right. Now that I have played back that information, now I can hover over these. Okay, let's just move it down. So now I can see my rollovers actually work. If I click, I know they're working. There's the previous page. There's the next and next and next and next and previous and previous. Next, 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 next. So now I know all my page buttons are working. I can go to the previous and scroll back through these. So now I know at least all my pages are working the way I want them to. At least these buttons are working. Okay, but I want to turn these guys into buttons as well. Right now when I click, nothing's happening. These are the only buttons I made. So we'll just keep this off to the side. I'll just kind of shove it off to the side of my screen and kind of put it out just so I know it's there, but I don't need it right now. And I'm going to come back to this document. We're going to turn all of these into actual buttons. We're going to turn a graphic into a button in the next tutorial.